Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Heidelberg, Germany, in an area in the suburb of Hanschusheim, which has been constructed and cultivated as wine growing terraces for many centuries since the Middle Ages, belong to the Knights of Hanschusheim first and later to the Prince of the Palatinate. Now, basically, every little terrace belongs to somebody else. But I think you can still see that they are being have been constructed in a more or less uniform way and in a more or less uniform pattern in the Middle Ages. Well, and here on one of those terraces, there is a little wine yard. Well, can you call it wine yard when it's just one line of wine, of grape wines, of the variety Johannita. Before I knew this variety, I thought, well, Johannita is the German name for the Knights of St. John, a medieval crusaders order. So maybe this is something really old, something they used to grow in their monasteries, or maybe something they brought back from the Holy Land a thousand years ago or so. But nope, <coughs> it's named after a guy <coughs> and it's been hybridized, it's been created in 1968, a little bit over 50 years ago, 52 years ago to be precise. And when you look at it, it looks a lot like the standard German grapes like Riesling. Riesling is basically the most German of all grapes. Also tastes the same. Well, it's a hybrid of Riesling and Ruhländer and Gutedel. So yeah, no wonder it tastes like Riesling. The funny thing is, it's resistant to a lot of diseases. That's why it was, well, created and preserved as a single variety. Very interesting for small ecological vineyards. Completely uninteresting for the big commercial ones. I don't know why, to be honest. It seems that the yield is higher than with Riesling. Look at the beautiful golden color of those things. We are still in August and they are already almost ripe for the picking. Well, basically this stuff, it yields more grapes than the Riesling. They are also sweeter than Riesling. Mm, not so sweet yet. Sweet enough to be eaten, but not extremely sweet. However, they seem to be less sour than Riesling. They have less acid, which seems to be a negative thing. Well, why is this one line of Johannita here? Basically, a lot of those terraces got abandoned in the last decades, like the one down here. And the one above me is also half abandoned. Somebody is still doing something, but not much. Then the city managed to buy two of those terraces and on the lower terrace they found a lot of ancient, well, not ancient, but quite old grapevine varieties and grapevines. And they preserved them and thought, okay, we will propagate them and we'll plant more of them here. But then the commercial wine growers in the area said, wait, that's illegal, you cannot do this, you cannot plant those ancient resistant varieties mildew and phylloxera will spread and yeah it's bad for for wine cultivation and it's illegal well i mean there are no commercial wine yards within a more than a kilometer or maybe two or three kilometers from here but that's the law and so they couldn't plant more of those old varieties and then they said well this is a nature reserve we don't want to, play in, uh, to plant any standard grape varieties. We want to have something which we at least don't need to, to spray with pesticides all the time. And then they agreed on this Johannita. Not an old variety, as I said, just over 50 years old. But you don't need to spray it. Um, there were some controversies if you shouldn't spray it anyway, and if you shouldn't maybe fertilize it with artificial, uh, with some chemicals and stuff but I think at the end yeah it does quite well without 
spraying and artificial fertilizers just with some natural fertilizer and actually they have produced very tiny amounts of wine like a couple liters or one or two gallons a year and this year I was told yeah there is enough so that they can try again quite a dry year as you can see it's August and a lot of the shrubs are already suffering not as badly as two years ago but still it's really strange that those young vines produce mm, so many grapes in this dry location but let's be happy about it let's be happy about the fact that they are resistant to most but not all common diseases that you don't need to spray them that somebody preserved some of those wine growing terraces here look at them again those things have been here before the time of Columbus or before the time of the Protestant Reformation yeah so this was the Johanniter folks a not so old mildew resistant wine variety on ancient wine terraces stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg here in the background and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe